was born in Cairo, Georgia on January 21st, 1919. I was the youngest of five children and grew up in Pasadena, California. I attended college at UCLA where I was a four-sport athlete. I competed in football, baseball, basketball, and track. At the beginning of World War II, I was drafted into the Army and received an honorable discharge in 1944. After leaving the Army, I began to play professional baseball. I first played in the minors for the Montreal Royals, where I had to deal with constant racism from fans and opposing teams. I joined the major leagues for the Brooklyn Dodgers and was the first African American to play for Major League Baseball. I broke the color barrier and be became a pioneer to all African Americans who had a dream of playing in the Major Leagues. I also walked with Martin Luther King Jr. and helped with civil rights after my baseball career. Thank you so much. My name is George Washington. I was the first president of the United States of America. I was born on February 22, 1732. I I was born in I grew up in Colonial, Virginia. I was raised by my older brother Lawrence. After the French and Indian War, I married Martha Canoon. She had two kids, did not not have kids of their own. In May of 1732, I became general of the Continental Army. I led my army to victory over the British on the Delaware River on Christmas Day. I helped uh, write the Constitution of the United States that begins, we the people. I died on December 14, 17. This is him crossing the Delaware River. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Sally Wright. I was born on May 26, 1951 in Los Angeles, California. I loved going to school when I was younger. My favorite subjects were math, social studies, and science. After high school, I went to Stanford University. I earned my bachelor's, master, and doctorate degree in physics. After college, I worked at NASA for nine years. I was a mission specialist for STS-7. The rocket launched into space on June 18, 1983. That day, I became the first woman to go into space. I ended my job at 32 years old and I became a professor at the University of California. I battled pancreatic cancer for 17 months. I died on July 8, 23rd in 2012. This is Sally Wright on the cover of Move Week. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Pocahontas. I was born around 1596 in Werowocamoca, Virginia. I was always called a princess. There were no schools, so I always helped cook. When I was 12, English settlers came to make a place called Jamestown. The relationship between the strangers and the native tribe was strained. Sometimes we cheered and other times we fought. My brother kidnapped John Smith. The native tribe put his head on two stones. They were going to smash his head. But I sat by him and put my head on his. In 1906, colonists got very sick from a disease. My dad, Chief Powhatan, offered to trade with John Smith. And um, when John Smith did not trade, my dad, off my dad was gonna kill him. And um, I saved him. I saved John Smith again by telling him my father's plans. In six. In 1603, I was kidnapped by Captain Argyll. In prison, I met John Ralph, and I learned to speak English. In 1614, I married John Ralph. In 1617, I died from a disease. I will always be remembered as a young girl who set the peace between the native tribe and the stranger. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Harriet Tillman, and I was born in 1820, and I was famous for escaping slavery and also for the Underground Railroad, because I was also famous for helping other people escape slavery. I 
I died in 1913. Before I died, I found a phone and I was, able, I was able to communicate with family and friends before I passed away. Here's a picture of her when she was wanted. There's also one down there. Um, and thank you for watching. Hello, I am Zach Julia. I was born in 1788 and was a big part of the Lewis and Clark expedition. When I was, I was 12, I, I was captured by an enemy tribe and sold to, to a French Canadian called Toussaint Carbonat. And um, soon after that, uh, Lewis and Clark came to our town and, and asked us to go on the expedition. Three months into the journey, yeah, I gave birth to my son, um, and then I just, and then we we voted across Montana all the way to the, the Pacific Ocean. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Missy Coleman. I was born in Atlantic, Texas, on January twenty sixth, eighteen ninety two. When I was young, I'd help my mom wash clothes and pick cotton to earn money. I earned enough money to go to Color Agricultural University and a normal university, but I had to drop out after one semester because I didn't have enough money. At age 23, I moved in with two of my brothers. After hearing about people's experiments with flying a plane, I wanted to become a pilot too, but there was a problem. No one would let a African-American woman fly, fly a plane. So I asked my friend Robert Ebot to uh, to what to do. He said to go to France, and I moved, uh, and I learned how to speak French, and I moved there to get, and I got my license. I started becoming really famous in French, and I when I started traveling the United States, giving speeches, and showing people how to fly a plane. But after two years of my career, I that was in a very major car accident, plane accident. Then, but just after two years, I started performing again until I died on April 30th, 1926. Six. I was in a plane with William. He was driving the plane when, and I was in the back looking for a new place to perform. William lost control of the plane, crashed and that's when I died. Died, me and William died in that plane accident. And this is a few of my pictures of me giving performances. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born in Springfield, Kentucky in a one room walk -in. I was the second out of three children as 18, I had several jobs like a banker and a shopkeeper. Then I became a lawyer for five years. After that, in my early 30s, I was a Whig party leader. After that, I went back to my law practice, and after three years, I became president. After two years of being a president, I wrote the Gettysburg Address. Is a picture of the Gettysburg Address. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Rosa Parks. I was born on February 4, 1913, in Tuskegee, Alabama. I then moved to Pine Level, Alabama, where I went to grade school and high school. I then achieved to Alabama State Teachers College. I then married Raymond Parks in 1932. On December 1st of 1955, I refused to give up my seat to a white man on the bus because black people had to sit in the back. I was tired of being bullied for being an African-American woman. I was arrested, fingerprinted, put in jail, and tried. On December 5th, I went into trial for breaking the segregation laws. I was very upset and started a boycott, which every black person in Montgomery followed. On December 21st, the buses were finally desegregated. I was a great activist and fought for the rights of black people. On 
one of my greatest one of my greatest awards was in 1996 where I got the Medal of Freedom Award from President Bill Clinton. And in 1999, I got the 250th Gold Medal Award. This is one of the highest honors a civilian can receive and I am proud of it. I died on October 24th, 2005. God has given me the strength to say what is right. Um, this is me getting the Medal of Freedom Award from Bill Clinton. Thank you for watching. I was born the 10th child of 17. I conducted an experiment using a kite and a lightning storm. When I touched the key that was at the bottom of the string, it zapped me. I just found out lightning was electricity. Then I invented the lightning rod. Because of my invention, less homes were hit by lightning. Later, I helped America be free from aggression. I went to the first Continental Congress and signed the Declaration of Independence. Britain thought I was a wizard because of my invention. They thought I could flip over a continent like a pancake. I died on April 17, 1790 at the age of 84. My name is Buffalo Bill. I was born on February 26, 1846. I hunted around 4,000 buffalo to feed my troops. In 1872, I got the Medal of Honor for being a U.S. Army Scout. I founded the town Cody, Wyoming. In, in 1902, I founded the Irma Hotel. It was named after my daughter. I lived the rest of my life in Wyoming with my family. I died, died in Denver, Colorado due to kidney failure in 1907. Thank you for watching. Hello, I am Anna Eleanor Roosevelt, also known as Eleanor Roosevelt. I was born on October 11th, 1884 in New York. I was raised in a wealthy family with my mother, father, and three brothers. My mother used to call me granny when I was little because I was shy and didn't say much. Sadly, my parents died due to a disease when I was only eight and 10 years old. I grew up to be the first lady with my husband, Franklin D. Roosevelt, as president. My husband and I fought for human rights so, so others could have a say in different things. It took long and stressful nights and days to complete, but it was all worth it in the end. I died on November 7, 1980, 62. I am remembered for fighting for human and equal rights. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is James Cleveland Owens, also known as Jesse Owens. I was born on September 12, 1913 in Oakville, Alabama. I was the youngest of 10 kids in my family. When I was growing up, I had to work many different jobs to help my family. I discovered my love for running in junior high school. During high school, I became a nationally recognized sprinter and jumper. In high school, I set records in the 100 and 200 yard dashes and the long jump. After high school, I went to Ohio State University where I became known as the Buckeye Bulldogs. In 1935, I competed in 42 different events and won them all. However, I did not receive a scholarship and had to work a part-time job. I, went to, or I competed in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. I won four gold medals and broke two world records. After my victories, Hitler refused to shake my hand because I was African American. After, after the Olympics, I raced cars and horses for a living. I even played for the Harlem Globetrotters. I married Minnie Ruth Solomon. Together we had three kids. I smoked cigarettes my entire life. I was diagnosed with lung cancer and died on March 31st, 1980. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ruby Bridges and I was born in 56 in 1956 and I I, I lived in a small town and then when I was only five years old we had to move to a place called New Orleans and and then 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 I took a test and I aced it and then, then I was the the first black kid to ever go to a all white school. 
in in my teacher's name was Miss Henry Henry and and then then I met the president and now I have a statue of me when I was younger and thanks for watching and I'm still alive and thanks for watching. born July 24th, 1897 and died July 2nd, 1937. I was born in Atkinson, Kansas and when I was a child I built a roller coaster in my backyard and it worked. I crossed the Atlantic twice and I took my first flying lesson in January 1921 at Pinnacle near Long Beach. I was, I was married to George P. Putnam and I flew in a plane called the Canary. Say thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Annie Elclair. I was born on August 13, 1860 on a small farm in Woodland, Ohio. I was known for being a great showman and sharpshooter. When I was six, my father died, so my mother sent me to a poorhouse where I learned to sew. Then I was sent to a local family who treated me like a slave, so I returned back home to my mother. Back home, I started shooting wildlife to help feed my family at age eight. At 15, I performed against Frankie Butler, who later became my husband. After a year at the South Brothers Cir Circus, I went to Buffalo Bill's Wild West show and started traveling around the country. I wanted to start touring again, but got in a car accident. A year later, I started touring again. I died on November 3rd, 1926. My husband died three weeks later. I will always be known for being a great showman and sharpshooter. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Helen Keller. I was born in, in June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. I died June 1, 1968. I have four siblings. My mom's name is Kay Adams Keller and my father's name is Arthur H. Keller. I was taught at home by a teacher who was blind and taught an older woman that was both blind and deaf and I was taught by her putting sign language on my hand. She, she, um, So she, yeah, she teed it. She teached a older woman that was blind and deaf, and she taught me putting sign language on my hand. And to calm me down, she she would take my doll and put it in my hands because the doll. I loved the doll well when I was younger, and would always play with it. And my mom and dad knew that I was blind because my mom got accidentally got soap in my eye and when she put, and I didn't have a reaction to it, and when she put her hand in front of my um, face, I, di I didn't see it or didn't, or didn't do anything about it. And they found out I was deaf when I was playing, I didn't hear the dinner bell and they came and started saying, talking to me saying,
to go to dinner because the it was dinner time. But I ha but I didn't know they were talking to me because I was dead. The doc the doc I I turned blind and deaf at at 19 months and got sick before I got blind and deaf. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Griscom. My that more commonly known as Betsy Ross. Um, I was born in Philadelphia in a, fa a family of 18 with 16 kids. I was the eighth child. Um, when I was to when I was married to my first husband. I had to leave my family's religion because he followed a different religion. My husband um, joined the militia in Philadelphia and died in a bomb accident. After that, um, I got married to Joseph Ashburn and I have five kids and two of them died. Um, After that, um, the committee of three came to ask me if I could sell the flag, and I said yes. They, a little bit after that, they came to discuss the design. We, I made a few changes, like the five um, point stars and them being in a circle or in a rose. Um, I, I had helped sewing the flag. After sewing the first copy, I started sewing other copies, but when I had to quit sewing them when I became blind, I died at the age of 86 um, in my sleep. Okay, thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Johnny Appleseed. I am famous for my kindness and generosity. When I was little, I moved to Ohio. On the way, I planted thousands of seeds. My family was very poor. My business was all about apples and apple seeds. I made over $500 from that business. I died at the age of 70 in 1845. I died as an American nursery pioneer, owning more than 1,200 acres of land. It was a very sad day for my friends and family that came to support me in my business. Thanks for watching. My name is Neil Armstrong. I was born August 5th, 1930 in Monaco, Ohio. I, at the age of 15, I got my pilot's license. I got my bachelor's degree from for a aerospace engineer from Purdue University. On March 16th, we, I took my first trip in the Gemini 8 to space. On July 16th, 1969, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and myself rode the Apollo 11 vehicle, which is a three-man vehicle. Four days later, we landed on the moon. We, coll we collected 22 kilograms of minerals, which included 50 rocks and fine red soil. I was a test pilot, a naval avatar, and a university professor. I died from complications of, of a car cardiovascular procedure. My acid burn spread to the Pacific Ocean. Five fun facts about my life. I stopped signing my signature for people after I found out people were selling them on the internet. I earned the Eagle Badge for the Boy Scouts. I was awarded the President Presidential Medal for Freedom, and my footprints are still on the moon. Thank you for watching. Hello, I am Claire Barton. I was born on Christmas Day, 1821, in Oxford, Massachusetts. I started teaching summer school at age 18. I opened the first free public school in 1852. I quit my job as a teacher because I was paid less than the male teachers. I got a job at the U.S. Patent Office as a recording clerk. In 1861, I quit my job 
at the U.S. Patent Office and became a nurse in many battles. I saved many soldiers' lives. It, I started the Red Cross in 1881. I was elected president of the Red Cross in 1882. I died on April 12, 1912 at age 90 in Maryland. I will always be remembered for how I started the Red Cross and saved people's lives. Hi, I'm Deborah Sampson. I was born in Plimpton, Massachusetts on December 17th, 1760. I disguised myself as a man to fight in the Revolutionary War. I was the first woman to go on a national lecture tour of the US. It was a year long lecture. I also earned a military pension for fighting in the war. When I disguised myself as a man in the revolution, my fake name was Robert Shirtleff. I was George Washington's waiter when when I was not working for the revolution. I paved the way for a woman to work in the military. I, I'm remembered for disguising myself as a man in the Revolutionary War and winning. Um, this is a picture of Deborah Sampson getting ready for war. And um, thank you for watching. Born on the Eastern end of Boston on January 1st, 1735 to Apollos. Rivera and Deborah, 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 Deborah Hitchborn. He was one of 11 children who grew up in the footsteps of his father. He attended the North Wing High, North Wing's writing school between age of seven and 13 to continue the tradition of silversmith trade. He lived in a small town of only 15,000 people. There were five public schools in which only 500 children attended each school. Paul took on the challenge on of his father's business and make lots of things in 1770. Bo the Boston Massacre was happening and Paul made a drawing and of the scene in which became a political program for propaganda. propaganda in 1773. Paul played an important more important role as a messenger for the Boston Committee, Paul became famous for his midnight ride, which was how he committed how the British were attacking either by land or boat. After the Revolutionary War, Paul was accused of insubordination Insubordination. Insubordination, in which he was eventually found, found not guilty and continued his life doing his silver smithing. <coughs> and at age 76, <coughs> he retired and left his business, business to his son and grandson. Paul died at age 83 on May 10, 1818. Hi, I'm Theodore Roosevelt. I'm best known as the 26th President of the United States of America. And, uh, and I am the inspiration for the teddy bear. Also, I made burger reservations and hunting reservations. I'm the youngest president and was born October 27, 1858 and died on January 6, 1919. This is a picture of Theodore Roosevelt and what he hunted in. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Jane Cottrum, better known as Nellie Bell. I was born on May 5th, 1864 in Cottrum's Mills, Pennsylvania. I was a famous woman reporter in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Um, one of my most famous reports was when I went 
to an as horrible asylum for 10 days in New York City, where they gave us dirty water, rotten food, and did not treat us well. And I also won a spot in the National Women's Hall of Fame. Um, but sadly, on January 27th, 1922, I died of pneumonia. Thank you.